Hello everybody and welcome back to another Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde video. Uh, this is the Mighty Reset. Uh, I am going to be doing a reset of the game just to show off a few things as leveling progresses. Uh, my goal will be to, as we see uh, locked things, because unfortunately I cannot see what is locked, I will be pointing out which uh, regions the enemies are in to unlock things. You know, I know the Red Reapers are down here and things like that. Uh, the other element will be to see how the game is with some knowledge of the map and uh, some more play style. Uh, see how it goes. So, for instance, we'll be working up the scythe for the banner size and the cooldown, try and get that up fast. And then immediately going for pets and the banner choice, which are amazing. Maybe going for damage next, things like that. So, because we can sort of plan out better with our future knowledge, let's see how things go. Now, I don't expect things to be perfect right away. It's been a very long time since I have been uh, relatively weak. Uh, we will delete the uh, save file. Once the game will refresh some data, so let us do that. And boom, away goes the game. So we are now starting this fresh run. As we can see, we don't even have a choice of a web. does not even exist. And we are going to start uh, with the cleave in this regard. I do not remember how bad the cleave is to begin with. I'm a little nervous and excited at the same time. Uh, one key element that we will be doing, though, uh, I do believe is slightly overlooked. Uh, later on in the game, you sort of want to really focus on powering up one weapon where it actually is pretty powerful early on to just get a the slew of weapons as fast as possible. The more weapons you do have, the more ability you will have to adapt. So, so far, so good. I do really want the cooldown and everything like that, but we are going to immediately go straight for uh, the spears. This way, again, more experience for us, more kills, more safety, get some orbital fire and yes we could have slightly faster spears or for a cleave uh, again it'd be 0.2 seconds faster which is you know roughly 10 percent uh tiny bit less but just having the three abilities active early on just is going to save us that much more now we do want damage and the like but getting just these abilities we are doing way more damage than even one damage upgrade would do and we are going to focus on damage to begin with uh it's weird because later on damage is sort of the least important aspect uh, but right now we need this damage we need to be able to hit these targets and make sure they die so so far so good i think uh i think the plan has gone quite swimmingly let us definitely get uh, this damage rolling in and we're getting some pretty good experience uh, the next on the list, once we get through these initial waves and get just a few levels just to be stable, uh, ooh, number, number is good as well. So number is more damage. I will take it. And yes, uh, now that we're going, we want resources. We want these blue runes. We want crystals. We need it all. So let's see how early farming goes. Again, we will not have the extra chests. We won't have anything. Uh, these enemies will be hitting us for full damage. Again, I do want cooldown, but I do know that once enemies get to like 5 or 10 health, we will just need that little bit of damage. Uh, that was a little bit of a mistake there, but we will get some hearts from something, be it a chest or a crate soon enough. Uh, you can see the massive difference between uh, fully maxed out and non-fully max out weapons obviously if you're playing yourself you will be able to see that even better in your own games and again the speed starts around 360 for this it's almost double the speed right off the bat so but luckily we are getting the damage that we want so it seems like uh we're, we're pretty stable i do want to get a heart or two or 100 health is definitely minuscule uh, thankfully speaking, from what I do remember, while blue runes in the end are sort of the blocker, it's going to be the purple uh, crystals that are the blocker to begin with. So we will get our weapons fairly powered up fairly quickly, even without uh, too much of a hassle. Found our first chest, which is fantastic. More runes for us. I am thrilled for that. Uh, the first chest of a brand new game. 
it feels like it takes forever to open. But luckily, we have all of our weapons in sync. Instead of just powering up one or two, uh, having all of them is definitely a saving grace. Now, look at that. We were able to kill that one enemy uh, right as he was about to get pushed into us. I was really hoping the cleave would hit, and it did just in time, thankfully. Uh, if that didn't hit any later, we would have been in massive amount of trouble. But it didn't, and we are getting... Awesome. Again, good safety, good experience, all thanks to having all of the weapons. If we didn't have everything, we would be taking substantially more damage. And, again, increasing the damage. Top priority. Because it's not these small enemies that really will get us too much. I am much more worried about the mummies and the bosses to come. Because those will definitely be hurting us the entire time that we're here. And we have our first set of crystals as well. Most fantastic. And now that we have some decent damage, we have uh, about three across the board, we can now start going for the cooldown because, again, we're focusing on sort of much more balanced approach this time. We want all of our weapons to be doing something. That way, uh, nothing is sort of uh, lacking here. Uh, mm, cooldown of arrow, we can get that down, or damage by one. Again, getting the getting to fire two arrows is great, but ten levels to essentially fire two arrows versus each level being, you know, that was a 33% increase to damage of our orbital fire right there. So, no real contest, uh, because without the added benefit of the meta progression... This damage is actually doing far more for us. It, it feels very slow, don't get me wrong. And, and it is! <laughs> oh yes! It is quite slow. But, uh, the speed isn't going to tick up to those insane rates. We are never going to get to the huge amounts. I mean, attack size going from 5 to 6, that is that is very nice. Uh, but we really need the speed. I'd rather it swing faster in this regard than not. Again, spears, fantastic weapon early on. Uh, they are uh, I'm going to upgrade them as well. I'm quite looking forward to that, in fact. But that is pretty much after we get the damage banner for them. Uh, we should have... Oh, I was one off. One tiny gold pile off. I... Didn't even think, I was like, we should have enough to pretty much buy the, any blue runes or anything we need in there. But we didn't, so we'll buy some experience. And we'll still be in a pretty, pretty good state. Get some more damage, maybe get another level or so, and get some purple runes. Again, the purple, uh, or purple crystals. The purple crystals are the holdup early on, so fantastic. And because we got the damage, we are able to survive against these little plants already. Uh, most of the time, a lot of people will only focus on cooldown and things like that, especially at this point, and they won't have the actual damage to kill these enemies, and then it just makes everything so much harder when you're just trying to avoid and kill. Like, the fire guys, you have to kill them because they're very easy to kill, but you have to avoid these because they're not so easy to kill. But being able to kill everything is just the biggest benefit of all. Now, I am playing like a doofus right now, because I just wanted that bit of experience. Let's get out of here. Let's get some more purple crystals and get this show on the road. And again, these uh, scarabs, generally very high health, hard enemies. Thankfully for us, we can handle them. Now, I am definitely doing the problematic death run for these crystals. It does happen. Uh, deaths do happen. It's quite alright. We made it out. Found a heart. I'll take it. And just move on to safety. Now, I will say, this is not going to be good for the hordes. Again, the yellow uh, jackets over here. The yellow flies, whatever. Uh, bees, beetles. Well, these are the beetles, I suppose. Um, but, 
they are probably the most deadly enemy force because we do not have the speed. Those are the enemies that you need the speed for versus the damage. So they are definitely the most deadly, but we're going to do some fancy footwork. Hopefully fire an arrow up. Fire, no, uh, nope. Fire so slow. Oh my god. But we'll get to another phase. Get to skeletons. And, uh, get back to this boss, who should still be stuck up here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get more damage on our cleave, so we can cleave down this boss once we get him to the side. Oof. Just trust in the damage. Trust in the fire. Ooh, I think this might be the end of us. Uh, just a little bit of size. I would love to get this boss down. Maybe get his heart. I'm focusing more on him than escaping, and that is the problem at the moment. But thankfully, with that little bit of size and damage, we were able to sort of survive just a little bit longer. But this boss, we don't quite have... Oh! Oh! Definitely holding my breath there. Got all of the hearts. Made it through. That was definitely a clencher. We're going to take a hit or two. Quite alright. We are gaining the levels. Increase our damage some more so we can kill these mummies off. And we are definitely dead there. That's quite alright. I think we made it pretty good for the very first run. Could have done better. But we got 90, uh, 90 shards and 26 crystals which is pretty pretty decent for the first one hey there mr oracle it's been a little while uh sorry i killed the last version of you uh but we have awoken again and here we are we're with the oracle she's gonna recover us and uh yeah it's our duty we have to find crystals and runes uh she's not telling us about the other stuff but hey we will get to that eventually so and she even gives us some bonus runes so right off the bat we already have enough to unlock the pets we have enough to unlock the tornado which would get us that extra option but getting those pets is going to be amazing uh again if with damage being so important slather is amazing getting one extra damage on every single ability you have is fantastic not to mention movement speed not to mention scoop we want anything he can pick up of course Drilla, probably the worst of the starter pets. Uh, not, not upset to have Drilla, but the real star of the show is the Mag Slime. Uh, low level things, even with Vivian, even though she gets the increases as levels go on, low level, you're not demolishing the world. And without demolishing the world, you want to pick up everything you can. So obviously we can get some health, we can get all sorts of things, but we do want to get the increase to speed, and we want to get the increase to size for the uh, cleaver. Now, this does require 85 mummies, so, quote-unquote, thankfully, uh, we have not done that. We have seen where mummies exist already, which is fantastic. We will actually get a starter damage as well, and we're going to start on the cooldown train, too. So hopefully we will end up with 100 blue runes at the end of this run. We will definitely have killed 100, eight, 100 mummies. But again, for our first run, that was quite solid. I will uh, pick this up in the next video, uh, where we will be unlocking uh, the next uh, level of cleave. And then from there, I'll probably start playing it, jump around a little bit where I start unlocking a few things off of the screen. But I want one more video where we show a run with just what we unlocked here. And then uh, from there, we will see further on. So thank you very much. Let the journey begin. And again, uh, I will show off where all of these enemies are. So again, we have the Fairy Warriors. That is from the second zone down here, the Hinterlands. We have the Skellies, which we have already seen. And we have the Vi uh, Vinnies, which we have already seen in the first zone normal mode. So as we progress, we will see more. And Twisters. Uh, unfortunately... I probably won't get to 50 Twisters that quickly. Uh, so if we do have a surplus of the uh, 
shards. Hopefully we will get to the bone shot because we are not getting two grand hex here and we can work our way to this damage increase. So it'll probably be towards the damage increase and then over to the unlock fourth slot. But we will definitely get the twisters uh, sometime soon. So thank you very much. Catch you in the next video where we will just show off just after the first run. And then again, I'll probably do a few runs off, off screen. Uh, not pick up things, maybe just save up all my resources after cleave is filled. Uh, maybe fill up, you know, spears or, you know, all the starter weapons, so to speak, and move from there. So thank you very much and have a wonderful day. If you do, uh, enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, it does show me that I'm doing something right. If you don't like something, please let me know. If you do want to see something, please let me know that as well. Have a wonderful day again and happy hunting.